Last year, whenever we ran, well I guess the year before that, because last year was 2020, I'm still adjusting to the new year. So, whoops, the year before last, whenever we used to run new fencing, just rolled it up on the spool that it came on. And wire starts to get really heavy. Especially for me, like, the guy could easily carry it around and you could go, yeah, you could go online and order a, uh, a wire spool that has like a spinner on and all that stuff, but you still have to carry that. So my husband Davis came up with a really good idea and he's like, babe, we've got that hose reel. Why don't we try rolling the wire up on the hose reel? And I was just like, why not? That just makes so much sense. So we actually fashioned a uh, wire reel out of the hose reel. Didn't have to modify it at all. It's got a little section here that you can feed the wire through. It's on wheels, so you can roll it around, and then whenever you need to, just reel it up. So here, I'm gonna show you guys. So we've got already got wire on it. We just wrap the excess wire so it, it hooks here so it can't go through. And then, where's that wire? Let's go get that wire. All right, so we've got Can I reel it up? Yeah. Are you recording? Yeah, here. All right. See? Here's a perfect example. Leon can do it. All right, buddy? So show him how it's done. Find the end of the wire. All right. And so we're going to splice the wire together. So here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You got to splice it, okay? All right. Okay, so now that that is spliced. All right, Leon. So remember, you're going to want to hold the reel with your right hand. All right, so here. I'm going to hold it for you, bud. All right, reel it up. There you go. All right, I'm gonna step in here and get this done and show you just how quickly you can do it. Uh, we have these caution flags on just because the horses can't see the wire and this helps prevent them from running through the wire and spooking. So let me take these flags off. All right, we're gonna, so you can roll it up really, really quickly. All right, brace it, buddy. That really definitely helps with cleanup. And this goes both ways. Oh, what's it hooked on? Oh, it's hooked on. Hold on a second. The next cool thing, um, obviously now you can store it like this. You just bend it back. But whenever you go to run a fence, all you gotta do is just pull it. You could easily do this by yourself without any help, and it definitely helps me a lot personally. But it's, I'm definitely glad that Davis had this thought because it's definitely helped us out. Oh, you already reeled it. Yep, I already reeled it in, buddy. Cool. So yeah, I hope that uh, this uh, was a good idea that you guys uh, maybe not, didn't think of, and it helps some of you. Uh, I've definitely been happy with it. I actually like it a lot better than the thought of having uh, the regular spool reel that you have to carry around because with depending on the gauge of wire that you have, that can get really, really heavy. And uh, I mean, I'm tough. I can carry things, but. Um, I know that running hundreds of feet of wire, that can get really tiring really fast. So this, I definitely like this option a lot better. So, and actually I think it is cheaper because I think you can get this for about 30 bucks at Home Depot. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Um, I hope this little uh, farm hack helps and you uh, uh, can get some work done more efficiently and uh, without getting too tired out. There you go, bud. All right, show me how fast you can do it. How quick can you do it? Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. There you go. All right, go park it over there. Boom. Store.